Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? All right, guys, I have a ton of information to go over today. All right, so I'm going to dive into it. Uh, first of all, I just want to ask you if, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I go over a lot of things in my channel. Um, I have a, a lot of different videos. I go over cryptocurrency news, uh, Ripple XRP news, Bearable Guy news, coloring book news. All right, I don't know a lot of people who go over that news. Um, I go over the coloring book news a lot, and, and I think there's a lot more to it than meets the eye guys uh, I have live chats all the time I've had them the last three days I think in a row um, and we, we have a lot of fun in them so come join us someday um, if you haven't already hit the notification bell and um, you'll be notified when uh, when a new video comes out or when uh, a live chat is on so um, yeah we dive deep in this channel uh, I also talk about law of attraction. I got stuff for everyone, you guys. I got crazy stuff in it in this channel. We talk about silver. Talk about tulips being money. I mean, I do coin reviews. Um, come, come and join the channel. I mean, at the very least, all you have if you really if you really decide you, you hate me or something, all you have to do is unsubscribe. All it takes is a click of a mouse. All right, so guys, so guys, give me a chance and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, and, and give this video a thumbs up if you can. All right, um, let's go. Uh, I'll tell you what this video is about. We are going to go over the Bitcoin USD charts. Not we're gonna not gonna take too long. Okay, um, the XRP USD Bitcoin charts. Okay, the XRP Twitter sentiment and what people are saying right now. And trust me, people are talking good stuff. People who aren't who people who don't usually even talk about it are talking about it. That's a good thing. All right, BG123 Gematria. Okay, not many people have gone there yet. Coloring book Gematria. I don't think anyone's gone there yet. G20 Osaka Summit coming up June 28th, 2019. Exciting times. That's also the date that the coloring book is coming out. All right, a $250,000 Bitcoin price to dismantle the US dollar. Okay, all we need for it to go to is $250,000. All right, expect to see FOMO action to get to that price. We will get to that price eventually. Okay, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. All right, all we need for Bitcoin to dismantle and override the US dollar is $250 price point. Okay. All right, uh, BitTrue XRP exchange is really cool. It's really cool, guys. Um, I set my I set mine up. You guys should check it out. It's yeah. You, you, I'll, I'll, there's a little review on it. I'm gonna go over. Um, will we ever know how successful Ripple is? BG one two three hater jab. The world's banks will settle on a base value for XRP, and drops will be used like sats. All right, let's dive in. Okay, first of all, remember when I put this up a few weeks ago? Or no, just maybe a week, about a week ago. Bitcoin is, is straddling that 8,000, like where are we at? That 8,000, we're just really trying to break that 8,000. But the great thing, oh, the great thing about this, uh, like I said the other day, it's not going any lower. We're seeing higher lows, okay? We're not seeing higher highs, but that's fine because we're creating an ascending triangle pattern. And when you're going up and you see an ascending triangle pattern, that's a good little time of accumulation before the next leg up, okay? That's what happens. Put it on the ear chart so I can back out and show you what I think is gonna happen here. Um, what I think is gonna happen relatively soon is this okay so let's see let's look at the BTC chart and that's kind of what's happening huh okay so we're on our way to 10,000 all right now there's a split sentiment on what's gonna happen once we hit 10,000 um, personally I think 
we will see a minor dip and I think the minor dip will take us back to 6,000 and um, personally I hope that happens so I can buy more I will not be selling any more of my cryptocurrency I will not be selling any more of my cryptocurrency guys it's not happening all right the reason being is because it's very risky to sell your cryptocurrency at this time all I'm gonna be doing involving cryptocurrency is hodling two things hodling and buying with my US dollar that's all I'm gonna be doing involving cryptocurrency I will not be selling I will not be selling at this point all right guys and I consider myself smart I mean you saw the call I made I made I've made plenty of good calls on this channel actually in in fact I'd say about 80% of my calls that I've made on this channel go fact check go fact check I, I beg you to go fact check 80% of the calls I made on this channel have come true all right now let's go on let's move on all right oh so what I was saying the split sentiment is some people also some people, sorry guys I have to do this um, here outside uh, Starbucks okay because the internet's down at my house so um, I have to, okay so the um, the split sentiment is that some people think that it FOMO will take place once we hit 10,000 and that it might happen once we hit 10,000 FOMO might just happen you guys <laughs> FOMO might just happen guys I mean it's already kind of happening we're, we're kind of at a standstill but you guys this is getting bo more bullish and more bullish and more bullish and it's just not stopping it's just it's surprising everyone you guys so let's move on XRP uh, I apologize I didn't even look at this before I made the video but I told you guys two things I said it was either gonna do this I said I wouldn't be surprised if it did this or if it just went whoop and I should have brought the video up saying that but go back to my videos I did say that I said it's either gonna go just jump out and that's what's happening which is a wonderful thing because now we're outside of both triangles thank god you guys we've been waiting for this for such a long time look at that beauty of a chart i just was on crypto twitter um even uh let me see the odd gems uh for hill uh the one he, he, he's a good trader very well respected he's talking about getting into xrp bagsy's talking about getting the xrp all right um a lot of a lot of crypto Twitter uh, traders are talking about getting into it right now. If you're not into it yet, if you're holding money on the sidelines, waiting for some kind of dip, um, you might want to think twice. Okay, you might want to get in right now. You might want to. Not financial advice. All right, let's go. This is the XRP Bitcoin chart. Oh no. Interesting. I guess I brought up the wrong chart. It's all right. We don't need to see it. We already know we're bullish on it. All right, guys. We know we're bullish. So let's go on to the next one I had up. This is Crypto Twitter. And I'm going to search XRP and see what people are saying. We're going to check out the sentiment on Crypto Twitter. Let's see what people are saying about crypto twitter xrp right now okay great gatsby says dad okay son dad why didn't you purchase any xrp at 40 cents when the ceo of ripple was meeting with the imf central banks and already adopted by a few banks dad well son i never did my own research and guys on twitter said it was centralized and will never be mass adopted all right um what would you say if xrp jumps three thousand percent i'd say well i i 
you know, I've seen, we've seen, we've seen a jump way more than that, haven't we? Um, digital asset investor. Am I following him? Of course I am. Uh, he opened a bit true official account. I'm going to go on and I'm going to, we, we have a little review we're going to go over. It's a really cool, really cool exchange. You guys, they, they, um, focus exclusively on mostly on XRP pairings. Okay. You can mostly buy a lot of different coins and tokens on with XRP. Okay. Uh, research just leads me more towards XRP and makes me question other projects more. Just being honest. Why would I spend 8K for one Bitcoin and it moves to 16K? I only make 8K in profit. I can take that same 9K by 40 cents XRP. Da, 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 da. Yep, 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 yep. That's right. Let's get something juicy. Let's, let's see. Yeah, the great thing is that Bitcoin's up more than 100% and XRP is still down. That's, that's, XRP is coiling up just like Bitcoin was at 6,000. Remember how it was coiling and coiling and coiling? Then it made its big drop, okay? Then it started went going up big time, okay? Now, is it, it's time to accumulate, guys. It's time to accumulate. Keep buying that XRP, no, not financial advice. Because the same thing is going to happen. It's going to follow suit. It's going to follow Bitcoin, okay? I'm not saying it's going to drop. If it did drop, I'm not saying it will. The chances are very slim. It's going to break that two-year uh, support. But if it did drop, that would be, I wouldn't even mind. I would buy, I would just buy more. I'd get twice as much for my money. And then... In a month or two, it would do the same thing that Bitcoin did and go up 100, 200%, but probably probably multiplied by, you know, 10 times. All right, let's see. Uh, when Bit True officials. Oh, what's this? Credible crypto. I find it hilarious how many people hate on XRP. It is the only coin aside from Bitcoin that has maintained top three market cap dominance over the last six years. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people very, 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 very confident in Ripple. Ripple, the company, and what they're doing with XRP. Okay. And the tech behind it. Okay. Let's move on. What is this? Bearable guy. Bearable guy. Okay, this XRP Holt put up this. Um, it's not exactly true. I'm going to tell you why. But it, it does make sense. Okay, apparently predicted. Okay, he said, Bearable Guy apparently predicted 589 per XRP by 2019. He was made fun of. Now, the Wall Street Journal, a famous journal site powered by Dow Jones, predicts XRP to peak $1,000 by 2020. Um, now, this, this actually came out like a couple of years ago. So it wasn't like a new thing or anything, but they did um, predict a thousand dollar XRP by 2020. The Wall Street Journal did. Okay, um, for good reason. I mean, it if when Wall Street comes to when Wall Street comes to cryptocurrency, and it's it is going to and it's coming, it's on its way here. Who better to invest in than? Then a foundational company like Ripple, who's already has a utility, a utilized token, okay, like XRP. What better company to invest in, right? Okay, they're gonna invest in the token, the the coin, XRP. All right, and they're gonna put a lot, a lot, a lot, trillions of dollars into XRP, and it's gonna happen all of a sudden, guys. It's not gonna just trickle in i think it's gonna happen all of a sudden it's gonna hit us like like a brick it's gonna hit us like a brick all right guys um now i wanted to show you something i want to show you something someone brought to my attention in one of my live chats and i'm really glad he did um damn it who was it who was it damn it who was it if you're watching this comment in the in the comment section who it was Shout your name out because I totally am blanking out who it was. I'm sorry. 
Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's type in 666. Let's see what comes up. Only one God, number of a man, <laughs> Barack Obama, name of Christ Lord, God of all God's number, prophecy. Barack Obama is a president, Prophet Muhammad. This is a hoax. All right, so just <laughs> weird stuff. Okay. Um, Seven seven seven. Okay, Gematria. Order out of chaos. Grandmaster plan timeline. King of kings and lord of lords. Hidden key of code. Key code of God. The Q keyed key code of God. Outside of intelligence. God of a thousand names. Okay, interesting. Um, now. If you put in what Bearable Guy had put out on his puzzle, 589, this is what comes up. The first thing that comes up is Donald Trump. Okay, the second thing is a storm is coming. Very interesting, right? Isn't that interesting? I thought so. Donald Trump, guys. What? And that, that leads me... Okay, that's one of the things that, that is a similarity between Bearable Guy and the whole mysterious aura of Bearable Guy, okay, and and what he represents, and also Donald Trump and his thing, the whole Q movement, Q and on, okay. What makes you think it, they're not related somehow? What makes you think the people that are behind Bearable Guy? you know, and Donald Trump aren't in cahoots with each other or aren't the same on the same team. Okay. Now, Donald Trump is going to be at the G20 summit. Uh, let's see. He's going to be at the G20 summit on June 28th. He's going to be at the G20 summit in Osaka on June 28th, okay, alongside alongside a few of the most powerful people in the world, okay, he's going to be there with all these people who, this is the one last year they had, Christine Lagarde at the IMF, uh, it's hard to see the sun's right in my face, uh, Donald Trump, Vladimir Putin, she, um, Macron, I think Theresa May, I think that's May, uh, I'm not sure, but I think that's her, um, Justin Trudeau, um, I forgot his name, uh, who else, I can't, it's hard to see, but you guys know what I'm saying, Saudi Arabian president, okay, um, all these people are going to be at the same place talking about monetary policy. Okay. That's what this is all about. Okay. Regulations, monetary policy, economy, world economy. All right. Okay. This is all happening on in June. The month of June is going to be huge guys. I'm telling you. And we, we were talking about May being huge. June's going to be just as big guys. Okay. There's a reason we're excited and it's a good reason guys. There's a good reason to be excited, okay, guys? There's a good reason to buy XRP. Okay, guys? Um, now, let's go to... I want to show you this. Now, when we see this, a storm is coming. It reminds me of this. Calm before the storm, guys. Sorry about that bad internet connection, but that's that's what he said when he when he held all those military people behind him. Okay, now you guys, you know you know me by now. You've watched my channel. If you haven't, then maybe watch some of my videos or just subscribe and watch my future videos. But you know what I'm all about. Okay, I think 
I think that there was a military coup being planned, okay, against the central banks, okay, against the establishment, against the greedy ones who had their, their had their sharp, greedy, nasty, dirty claws in us, okay, for the last fifty freaking years, okay, the ones the ones who created the Federal Reserve, the ones who had their control over us, okay. And created the whole system that held us down as people. Okay, um, I think that the patriots, okay, the, the ones who started recognizing that this was a thing, this was a, a thing that was happening. Okay, with these, it's, it was an establishment. Okay, they're the ones who control the mainstream media, who control us with their agendas. All right, they control our minds with subliminal messages. Okay, now these these patriots are the ones behind Trump, okay, who put him in office, okay? If you want to call him a puppet, that's fine, whatever. I wouldn't say he's a puppet. I'd say, you know, he's he's the only one strong enough who could handle this, you know, and he's winning, all right? So anyways, he is overthrowing this the deep state, guys, all right? So they're helping, they're the ones behind it, okay? The patriots, all right? So the, the storm, the storm is just, just, beginning this is the calm before the storm okay now we're involved in that okay when we are in cryptocurrency and i think ripple is part of that now trump is trump is in control of the federal reserve now okay the patriots are in control okay the patriots are in control all right you guys um it is the calm before the storm now i want to show you real quick this is the wave and ripple coloring book 1037 is the price of this one okay 1037 guys I'm gonna go ahead and type that in just to see what comes up. All right, let's see what comes up. Mana, mana from heaven. Interesting. Humans are corrupted. Um, Tyler, the creator. Uh, malware. All right. Um, You know, I don't, I don't really see anything that stands out too much. But when I typed in this one, which was interesting, uh, where the heck is it? This one. Oh, no. Um, the Bitcoin coloring book. Bitcoin coloring book. Okay, when I typed in the price of that one, 917, let's see what comes up, 917. The first thing that comes up is Yeshua Bitcoin. Now that's, right? They're using Gematria, you guys. Okay, these guys are not just putting a coloring book out, okay? The first thing that comes up is Yeshua Bitcoin. Awake. Awake, you guys. We're waking up. We're diving deep, you guys. We are diving deep. That's how we're going to get around in this new world. All right, you guys? You got to dive deep, okay? We have to dive deep to get anywhere, okay? The surface is old news, you guys. Come with me in my channel. Okay, because we, I love to dive deep and I love when you guys are with me. Okay, that makes me feel better. Okay, when I have you guys with me on this. All right, guys, let's go. Now, let's just go to, uh, let's go back a little more to the surface here. All right, um, billionaire Tim Draper slams paranoid Jamie Dimon doubles down on $250,000 Bitcoin price. Okay, that guy, first he says Bitcoin is a scam. Then he gets all paranoid. Then he lines up with all the banks against it. He's talking about Jamie Dimon. And, of course, Jamie Dimon is uh, 
also mentioned in this. Jamie Di 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 James Diamond, of course, they're talking about Jamie Diamond. All right. Now, this is, I keep thinking about this. What is this talking about? Okay, what is this talking about? While my young assistant, young ahem assistant, keeps a disciplined eye on my progress, she makes darn sure I stay well with them. What, what does that mean? Like 18 year old fraud, like 18 what, what? I think, I think they're trying to say something. Maybe something, um, something that might come out about him. That's what I think. Look, look for him in the news, guys. Look for him in the news. We, we're, we're hearing things. We're hearing things, you guys. We're hearing things. Um, I don't want to say the word, but I think you know what I'm saying. All right, guys. Now, he was talking shit about Bitcoin, guys. He was talking a lot of crap about it. All right. And then he came out with the JPM coin, right? Um, now, they were fudding cryptocurrency. Now, they're all in love with it, right? Of course, the, 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 the mainstream media was fudding it. They were lying to us about it. Now, they're in love with it all of a sudden, right? That's just how it works. They lie to us until they don't. Okay, they just lie and lie because we're dumb, right? We're just dumb sheeple. They lie to us through their teeth, and we just eat it all up. Don't don't do that, guys. Don't be that stupid freaking person that does that. Okay, think outside the box, you guys. It's the only way you're gonna survive. All right, let's go down. Draper still expects Bitcoin. This is Tim Draper. Um, he was an early founder, um, investor in Bitcoin. He's an, a billionaire now. Draper still expects Bitcoin to hit $250,000 in 2022. Now, if Bitcoin hits $250,000, that means it'll overcome the US dollar. And the US dollar is the world currency. That means Bitcoin will be the world currency. And I don't think this might not happen. I think this might happen. Okay, guys? I think this will happen. Now, if Bitcoin hits this, the thing about that is how long would it last? Okay, because mining isn't going to last forever. How long can mining last when it's – how long will the environmentalists let it happen? Okay, with how damaging and how much power it consumes. Um, unless they figure out, unless they tell us, because I know they have a way to, to, you know, to create free energy. But unless they figure out a way, unless they tell us a way to, to consume free energy or whatever, you know, they're going to go to pre-mined coins like XRP. Okay. Now, the, the G20 Summit. Is going to be huge, guys, because they're going to be talking about Ripple XRP. Now, Ripple, it, Chris Larson already confirmed that they talk they talk with the Trump administration regularly. Okay, they talk with regulators, they talk with the IMF regularly. Okay, and um, I'm just telling you guys, I'm just telling you, they can't tell us too much, and you know why? Because of the non-disclosure agreements. They've told us enough already that we should we are, we should already know it's going to be huge, okay? Now the price is being suppressed, of course, by whales, XRP whales. They needed to be suppressed. They needed to be stable for an extended. They needed to be stable for however long it takes for regulations to take effect, for the bankers to realize that it's not vol volatile, okay? The bankers are going to move it to a certain price. They're all going to agree that it needs to stay at a certain price. Okay? Now, it's not going to stay under a dollar. All right? It's not going to stay under a dollar. Trust me on that. Okay? So they're probably going to move it to... Who knows? We don't know. But a large number. Okay? It was created to handle being a $10,000 coin. All right, guys? Did I go? I think there was more. Yeah. 
Okay, so Bitru, Bitru Exchange Review. They focus on security, speed, and simplicity. All right, Bitru is, um, they have a low fee structure. Bitru has a generally low fee structure. They issue a flat trading fee of 0.098%. And their withdrawal fee is relatively low. BTC withdrawals cost 0.005 Bitcoin, for example. Okay, fiat markets, nice. Although not live yet, the team is working hard to offer fiat fiat deposits and withdrawals on their platform. So we're not sure yet, but they're working hard on, on being able to deposit US dollar into it. Okay. Crypto Adventure has been informed by the BitTrue team that they expect to offer fiat in less, oh, okay, less than two months. Cool. And when was this written? Let's see. Um, a month ago. Okay, so in less than a month, you guys. All right, XRP based. This is the best part. Bitru has a thorough collaboration with XRP. Not only can you trade almost every currency on their platform against XRP, but also when you use XRP as your base pair, the fees are even smaller, up to 50%, shrinking to 0.05% flat fee. They are openly avid fans of the XRP coin and have made their, it their mission to increase the fluidity of the cryptocurrency. XRP holders can rejoice in the fact that BitTrue has a program in place that rewards holders by giving a 7.3% annual interest return, which is paid out daily. Even more surprisingly, you are allowed to withdraw or use your XRP whenever you want. In short, if you are an XRP holder and want to trade and use your XRP for passive income when BitTrue is your platform. Okay, so accessibility. While most of the cryptocurrencies exchanges exchanges are only mobile and tablet responsive, Bitru went ahead and developed a dedicated application for both Android and iOS mobile devices, both working as intended with a friendly UX design, user interface, which r reminisces a bit to the Binance and KuCoin apps. It is nice. It's user friendly. It's really nice. All right, um, they have the Power Picky program. Hold cryptocurrencies to get paid. Similar to the rewards for XRP holders, BitTrue offers 7.3 annual interest on any coins that are on there. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tron, VeChain, including those. All right, so they have very good security. BitTrue team, they pride themselves on providing a secure platform and employ the most reliable security technologies available. You can really feel how secure the exchange is just by accessing the security tab of your account where you can find multiple options to secure your account. Okay. Okay, and they um they guarantee up to $1 million USD worth of token refund in case of any hack or security breach. All right, this is the BitTrue exchange. It's pretty nice, looks good. And a lot of people are talking about it. So they have all these coins so far. It's all the good ones. A lot of the good ones. No, I can't say all of them. Raven coin, Polly. That one's a good buy. It's still down, you guys. Polly's a great buy, you guys. Polymath, you guys. June, Wall Street. Dude, Wall Street. I'm telling you guys, Polly. Polymath, Wall Street. Oh, by the way, that CKJ, um, the one that Bearable Guy put up about CKJ, CKJ News. CK, China, Korea. Gosh darn, dude. I'm sorry guys I'm really sorry um, okay so it, it means China Korea the J N E is June and then the WS at the end is Wall Street all right and Polly okay the coloring book Trump okay it's all connected guys connect the dots with me okay Trump it's all connected you guys the G20 summit Trump polymath Wall Street, they're going to be securities, security tokens. Okay, they're going to securitize, securitize the stocks. I'm going to scoop up. This is my next big buy. I'm going to scoop up Poly, Polymath. 
uh, a week ago in MPXS. By the way, when you type in uh, bearableguy123.com, where does it go? Pundix. Pundix. You want to see? I'll show you real quick. Interesting, right? Goes to their website. Okay. Uh, it's, that's kind of weird, huh? All right. So, uh, Neo. Okay. Litecoin. Link. 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 I can't show it enough. Where else? What else? What else? Bitcoin Cash. I think that's. What? Oh, I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind. All right, so let's move on. Just give me one second. One second, guys. Okay. All right. Will we ever know how successful Ripple is? Okay. I was just in the, some blogs here and uh, I was just checking this out. This guy says, I may be uh, way off base, but I'm starting to wonder if we will not ever hear about Ripple's most important partnerships because of non disclosure agreements. If all their deals are private and they make private coin sales to partners, we, the public, have no way to gauge the success of the company. The total number of Ripples. XRPs stay the same roughly. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. He says we may not know every detail. Should we even? A lot of people in this space demand disclosure. But if we approached whoever, like Bank of America, and demanded as much information as Ripple does disclose, they would probably completely ignore us. You will be able to see volume action on XRP charts. That alone will be an indicator of success or failure. Plus, they can't exactly hide the launch of SBI, virtual currencies, and similar. I'm assuming SBI is very important. Okay, this guy says, I believe it is safe to say that all, all that the public will eventually be made aware of some of these partnerships and the resulting coin sales. It seems reasonable to conclude that large public companies, basically most of the banks, are somewhat obligated to disclose their partnerships to their shareholders. I think you are correct in that NDAs may be signed as they onboard the technology and we won't hear of these partnerships as they move through the due diligence period. But once the technology gets widely adopted, I believe everything will become public. Okay, and then there was something I liked a lot. Wait, 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 wait. that might be, that's the next one. Okay, it's uh, one of these over here. Or we'll, we'll get to that in, in a few minutes. This is a great article here, but I just want to show you real quick. You know what, actually this one, okay, from an investor's perspective, Okay, this guy's from Wall Street. Okay, this is these are the reasons why people would come over from Wall Street. Okay, most people see MoneyGram's recent. This was actually written in uh, January 14, 2018. Okay, most people see MoneyGram's recent announcement to adopt Ripple XRP as a brave and spectacular management decision, but it really isn't. What alternatives are there? MoneyGram could keep on processing cross-border payments through SWIFT and the correspondent banking system, which takes days, is unpredictable, expensive, and ties up some uh, $900 million in interest bearing liquidity. Or it could try and utilize, example, Bitcoin having transaction fees of around 20 plus, no settlement finality, and whose throughput and scalability isn't anywhere close to allow for commercial implementations. So in the end, adopting XRP four second settlement time, 1500 transactions per second, and fees of around one one hundredth of a cent is actually just a very rational and economic decision. Okay. Ripple con continues to have a very strategic and long-term approach when it comes to XRP. Okay, working with financial institutions is usually a lengthy process. Yeah, it is. Covered by non-disclosure agreements, yep. Okay, they have a lot of partnerships they can't even tell us about. They're not, they don't they talk about it because the due diligence aspect of it is still under 
it's they're is they're still undertaking it's okay they're still they're still in that in that part of it all right this isn't any quieter i i'm gonna move back sorry okay um let's see it holds it does hold down market prices okay as much as i understand the reason for non-disclosure agreements it holds down market prices okay regulations non-regulations we don't have regulations yet okay the two things that are holding down the prices well besides bitcoin okay but the two things there's there's two reasons XRP is not number one yet in market cap. The two reasons are regulations and the non-disclosure agreements. Okay? Okay? When regulations are clarified, okay, that's why this G20 summit is very important. All right? And also Trump's executive order. Trump is pushing this along, you guys. That's why they're talking to Trump in the White House. Okay? His executive order 13772 is very important because it talks about he's going to crush the U.S. dollar and XRP is next in line to take its place. All right, you guys. Now, let's just move on. Let's move on. To, I'm going to go over here. About to end this video here because there's not much left, but I uh, think I shared plenty. Um, uh, real quick, let's just go. This is funny. This guy says, don't be fooled by barrel guy, one, two, three. This guy's a troll. I've called him out and got banned on his from his subreddit, despite it having no rules. Don't let fools cloud your judgment. XRP has a bright future, but outrageous, ambiguous claims damage the community. This guy says, oh my god, a guy who represents himself as a goofy cartoon bear in a jester's hat and straight out says, I'm here to have fun, don't make your decisions based on what I say, might not be a strictly formal financial advisor, here to guide each of us step by step on our path to wealth? Really? I never would have guessed such a thing. I'm so glad you're here to point out his trolling for us. On a slightly more serious note, relax. I glanced through your recent history post, and you have some major hate for this guy. I don't know why, and honestly, I don't care. But you're making your own life worse by getting so worked up over it. All right? Just do your own thing and let him do it. Do his. Your blood pressure will thank you for it. Seriously, guys, if you hate Bearable Guide, good for you. Hate him. Go ahead. Just be, your, be, a, be a hateful, bitter, resentful motherfucker. That's fine. I don't care. Just don't crowd my personal space all right now just one more thing how high could ripples price potentially be in 2020 all right i really like this now first of all he said this is one thing just imagine if banks and or midges major business players announced they're going to use it boom yep whatever the outcome i think 20 cents is a bargain and i wish i had more money to buy because it, even if it rises only to five dollars profits huge now I scroll down scroll down this guy I love this that was it yeah that was it that was the one I really liked what he said and I totally agree I think you're correct in your assessment of the value of XRP as a British currency everyone is treating it like an asset with a market cap but it is it will be fundamentally different acting as a cryptographic bridge currency inherently tying the value of all currencies to it so it can perform its function efficiently how do you make it efficient? The market will organically settle on a price per XRP that represents the most beneficial way of sending the amount of money they want to send. So what's the most beneficial way? It's going to be, what What do you think? A thousand bucks. Probably a thousand bucks or something like that. So it'll be more liquid. I would imagine we will be talking about XRP in drops, just like we were talking about BTC in SATs when referring to USD. Parity. That's awesome, you guys. We're going to be talking about drops like we talk about dollars. Imagine that. Five years from now, we'll be saying drops. Just like five years in the uh, past, we didn't know we'd be saying sats. Okay? We're going to be saying drops just like we say dollars. In 10 years, we'll be saying drops like dollars. 
All right, you guys. All right, you guys. Um, that's all I have for you today. Remember to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and click the notification bell if you like my content. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Be good people. And just remember, cryptocurrency is my crypto mike is my name cryptocurrency is my game see you guys